So just a few days ago, the 2021 NBA draft took place and the NBA introduced a bunch of players who could be potential all-stars in the future are just very important players to the league. And I feel like every year in every draft, there are always players who are surprisingly taken earlier than expected and players who are selected like way later than they're expected to. And that often causes outrage among the fans. But what really sucks is that I saw a lot of people in outrage after the Toronto Raptors with the fourth overall pick selected Scotty Barnes instead of Jalen Suggs but in my opinion I actually believe it was a really smart move and in today's video I'll be giving some reasons to why I think the Raptors selecting Jalen Suggs wouldn't have been a good idea rather than selecting Scotty Barnes but before we get into the video I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow subscribe to my channel if you want more NBA content like this and if you want to help me reach my goal of 1,500 subscribers then drop a comment on this video as I do respond to all of my comments and play that intro Before we get into the video like about why the Raptors were right to let select Scotty Barnes and not Jalen Suggs, I feel like it's important to know what Scotty's weaknesses and strengths are and just his play style in general because I feel like a lot of people just heard most people talking about how the Raptors are going to select like, Jalen Suggs and how he's so good and they never really heard of Scotty. so when like the Raptors selected him, they were kind of like angry because there was a player who they didn't know and a player they didn't accept, expect and I'm pretty sure they didn't even know how he plays and things like that. So I'm going to give a quick description about it. Barnes is a 6 foot 9, 227 pound forward. He attacks the rim with great speed and strength. Other players his size simply can't do. When he attacks the rim, he rarely gets pushed off his path. He handles the ball very well for his size and at times can run point forward and be like a point forward type of player. He can also post up even against bigger defenders. He's also a great passer for a forward. Barnes also has the lateral quickness and speed to guard every position on the floor. He's also very passionate on the defense offensive side of the floor as he's always trying his hardest and he, on the offensive side of the floor he's a player who gives a lot of effort like he's like a spark plug type of player people often compare him to Draymond Green obviously I wouldn't go that far yet but he has like a lot of like like a lot of similarities to him to voice out some of his weaknesses is the fact that Barnes is simply not a good shooter at all though the only like positive thing is that he's willing to shoot three pointers unlike a guy like Ben Simmons but Barnes only shot 30% from three in college and if he he can't shoot better than that in the NBA he won't have it like be able to be a real perimeter threat and although he has like decent mechanics and he has good handling skills like the other NBA practice he's also a very poor free throw shooter as he shot barely over 50% as a free throw shooter and as a forward so that's definitely a questionable sign since a lot of people look to free throw shooting to see how good of a shooter you can be in the future but that's like what Scotty Barnes is kind of like now to talk about why Toronto selected that makes sense. The first reason the Toronto Raptors selecting Scotty Barnes was a smart pick is due to the fact that Barnes seems like a player who fits way better on this roster. Because if you didn't know, the Raptors are really loaded at the backcourt position, which is the shooting guard and the point guard position. And I'm not going to lie, I don't think teams should be drafting for fit unless you have a player at that position who you know is definitely going to be like your franchise's future forever. And they're going to be an all-star. Kind of like you're not going to draft a guy who looks like he could be an all-star point guard if you already have John Morant on your team but I definitely think Scotty is going to be a better fit overall because the Raptors are not a trash team they're still looking to win some games maybe they're not in a position to win like titles or anything but they definitely are a good team who can like give the best teams in the league um struggle on any given night and right now they have a lot of forwards I mean I, right now they have a lot of guards because although Kyle Lowry is leaving I won't even mention him but they have Fred Van Vliet who's a guard who's a really good guard Malachi Flynn showed a lot of promise to end last season i think it would be in their best interest to allow him to keep getting playing time they, because if jalen Suggs came in there there's a decent chance he would get really less playing time also jalen harris is a guard and he showed a tremendous amount of promise to end the season you obviously don't want to just cut his minutes especially after he's playing good although i think he got like suspended or something for drugs and then gary Trent jr obviously went crazy with the raptors and he was looking like a guy who could be an all-star in the future so you just don't want to stop these guys who are playing so well from growing and if you're not a Raptors fan you might not know who like Malachi Flynn or Jalen Harris is but those guys are like nobodies right now but the thing is that Toronto takes guys who are nobodies and turns them into somebody because Fred Van Vliet was in the same situation as a guy like Jalen Harris and now he's a 20 
13 points per game score. So I have a lot of faith in Toronto Raptors organization right now, even though it doesn't look like a crazy smart move right now. Because you have to realize the Raptors are not stacked at the front court position. Because although they have OG Ananobi and Pascal Siakam, when you get to outside of that, they don't have anything of significance. And I'm talking about a small forward or power forward position because that's where Scotty Barnes is going to be playing. And I think on this team, you get a lot of quality minutes off the bench. And there have been rumors that Toronto might trade Siakam. So maybe that would free up minutes for him in the starting lineup. I just think he's a way better fit. And I think he like is being underrated by fans. The second reason the Toronto Raptors selecting Scotty Barnes is a good move is due to the fact that Scotty Barnes is one of those guys who has crazy potential. Cause I'm not gonna lie, going into this draft, I thought he was a guy who was just gonna be like Draymond Green at best. I didn't think he had a star potential in him. But after doing a bit more research, I realized that he actually could be an all-star level player. He's a great defender, as we all know, we can switch on to many positions. And he's also a guy who could really create plays for others with his size. And he has underrated ball handling skills and an underrated ability to finish at the rim because he's truly a monster when it comes to attacking the basket he also has a very strong frame that allows him to like barely get knocked off and things like that and he's literally 6'9 and i believe he has the potential to be a more athletic draymond green that can shoot the ball better because although at this current moment barnes is not a good shooter to a degree i think he's a confident shooter and with the toronto raptors organization we all know how they're like how good they are at developing players and turning them into good shooters because don't forget Pascal Siakam was one of the worst shooters in the entire NBA, and now he's an above average shooter. And I honestly feel like if Barnes went to a team like the Orlando Magic, there would be a legitimate chance that they ruin his career and potential and things like that because they've literally been doing that the last decade. But on the Raptors with their great developing program, I actually believe that they could get everything they can get out of Scotty and give him the best proper chances and like training and development and things like that. When I compare Barnes to Suggs, I'm not gonna lie, in my opinion at least, Suggs seems like a prospect who has a higher ceiling than him because I think Suggs is a guy who could be like an all-star, even like further than an all-star, like a superstar level point guard. And yeah, I know Barnes is a six foot nine athletic forward with decent handles, great passing ability, but Suggs is just different in my opinion. But I do think Barnes is a player who has a lower flow floor because at worst Barnes is going to be a monster on the defensive side of the floor and a guy who could like cut to the rim on offense and things like that Suggs could potentially just be like an average point guard or something like that and I think having a monster on defense like Barnes is definitely a higher like a better player but when I say that I don't mean like Suggs is a guy who has a has high bust potential I actually think he has one of the lower bust potentials in the whole draft because he's literally a guy with great IQ great passing and he's crazy athletic i can't see him just being some terrible player i think i like worse he'll be like like a good starter or a really good like backup point guard i don't see him being a bust though but you guys have to realize barnes has a crazy amount of potential nearly as much as Suggs. so i definitely don't think it was a bad move to select him the third reason the toronto raptors selected scotty barnes was a smart move isn't really about the raptors it's just to the fans who think this was dumb i think at this point you just have to trust the toronto raptors front office because time in and time out they have always shown that they make the right selection from selecting Pascal Siakam with the 27th pick from choosing OG and Anobi with like the 20 something pick from choosing Fred Van Vliet was undrafted from getting Chris Boucher was undrafted from grabbing Malachi Flynn who looks like a guy who could maybe be the strap the steal of the draft in the future I think at this point we just got to give them their respect and trust them because obviously Masai knows something that we don't know because maybe he heard like some of the rumors how Suggs didn't want to like play in Toronto because he kind of looked really happy when he didn't get church like picked by the Raptors there was also reports he played really bad in his workout for the Raptors some were speculating he did it on purpose I don't know about all that but if it is true and Suggs didn't really want to play in Toronto I feel like if another prospect is just as good as the other one and like he actually wants to be in your city you should definitely try and draft him because you don't want a prospect who doesn't want to be there because let's say he turns into an all-star he'll just leave you in free agency or something and unless it's like Kate Cunningham you select Kate Cunningham like for sure or Jalen Green or maybe even Evan Mobley but what you have to realize is that maybe like Scotty Barnes had like a crazy good workout with the Raptors and they learned some new skills about it maybe he improved his shooting a lot maybe he improved his handling a lot 
you just have to have faith in the Toronto Raptors front office. And I even think it was a smart move. If they drafted Suggs, I obviously wouldn't have been angry at it. I actually would think that's a smart move as well. But I definitely think getting Barnes is a smart move as well. He also just seems like a player who really wants to play here. He was so happy in his interview. And he just seems like a player who like is ready to like grind and work hard and things. And that obviously fits in with like the Toronto Raptors system and things like that. Even if his offensive game doesn't turn around, he's still a six foot nine athletic, strong, quick forward. He's going to be great, at least on the defensive side of the floor. And he's going to carve out a role on any NBA team and be a really good defender. And I think him and OG and Anobi in the front court defensively alongside Siakam and players like that will make us an absolute monster of a defensive team. But to conclude the video, I truly believe Scotty Barnes will excel in Toronto and maybe in a few years people are going to be happy that we didn't draft Suggs, not necessarily because Suggs will be bad, just because Barnes will excel so much in Toronto. I just think it's a really smart move and I also just think people should just trust in the sideboard. Don't forget who this guy is. Anyways guys, that's it for the video. Let me know whether or not you think the Raptors should have selected Scotty Barnes. Drop a like on this video if you want more NBA content like this. And if you want to help me reach my goal of 1,500 subscribers, drop a subscription. And drop a comment on this video to start a conversation with me. Because I actually do respond to all of my comments. And I'm out.